Growing up as a child, I had two wonderful parents. <clears throat> My mother was a single mother. Unfortunately, my father was incarcerated the majority of my childhood life. I wanted to be around my dad so much. I would get excited over little things. He signed my first field trip slip. That was the first and last one. I was so young that I didn't understand where she was. I just remember picking up a phone to speak to her and seeing her in the orange jumpsuit. When I gave him that 40 years to life, I never thought that my son was gonna be released. As the judge kept talking, the only thing I can hear, life plus nine years. You kind of close yourself off because you know you have this secret and no one notices. When I got a little bit older, middle school, high school, that's when I started realizing, how could you really make such a dumb decision and in a way abandon your family? You've been hurt. It's hard to trust when that is true. Where I refound myself was being able to connect with others. That was like the main thing missing, even when I was growing up, was to have a group of folks that I could call family. I worked with hundreds of incarcerated youth because I see myself in them. If you work towards it, you can change. I'm a living example of it. My life's work is working with other people like me. Talking about it feels like an important thing to do. We deserve to know that we're not alone in the world. I had to realize this is not the person I am and it doesn't define me. You are worthy and you are not what your parents did. You've seen a lot in your life and you tend to be like, okay, well, if I've lived through that, like what's next? How incredible it would be to turn what has been a negative experience into one that is positive. The fathers, the sons, the mothers, the daughters, the people that are in prison, they're our people. They're the people that we love.